what we do here is go back, 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 back. back. Good morning boys and girls, today we're gonna do something a bit nice because uh, according to my calculations no one else from the Arabic world did it before. Today we're gonna talk about something I really like. It's Kool-Aid. Yes, this little packet of goodness. Anyway, we have here three flavors. We have the lemonade, we have the tropical punch and the orange. Hello, to be honest, I just drank a bit of uh, lemonade so I'll take it aside. Orange, I'm saving it for later. And for the sake of this review, we'll do the most common type of Kool-Aid, the Tropical Punch, because as you all know, it's the one that's uh, colored red, you, the one you see it most in the uh, advertisement or something. And anyway, when you say Kool-Aid, we all see that big jug with the, the red liquid inside. Anyway, we'll do the red Kool-Aid. To do Kool-Aid, we need a packet of Kool-Aid. We need some kind of container, like this one. I purchased this for a couple of dollars, it's really nice. You can also see the quantities here, and it's easy to pour. The next thing we need is some water. I'll, uh, I have to be honest with you guys. We live in a place where water from the tap is not, you cannot drink it. Don't, don't ever try to drink tap water. Anything from the faucet in your house, never drink it. This is not much better, but at least this is filtered. This is mineral water. And to be honest, this costs me around 50 cents for 1.5 liter. And we need a bit of sugar, since uh, we're not a very sugar-loving uh, family. I'm stealing my mom's coffee sugar. Also, we need something to stir with. Uh, first of all, we take the Kool-Aid. We can read here, empty contents into large plastic or glass pitch, one cup of sugar or one cup of uh, calorie sweetener. Uh, da, 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 move, add cold water and ice. Uh, small tip, don't put two liters or two quarts for one second. It will be highly diluted and also you will, uh, you might like to add some uh, ice to this. So leave some room for ice. About the sugar, put sugar according to your needs. I don't really like sugar so, so much, so I won't put one cup. I put like two tablespoons or something. Anyway, here is our container. Ah. It is open, we get our Kool-Aid, give it some, uh, a little tap, a little tap, baby, yeah, tap the ass, man, tap it, tap it, tap real good. And we do this so all the powder goes down, I think we can open it anyway from here. You notice after that tapping you don't have any uh, dust coming up, so we pour it, let's see if we can... Ah, uh, that's the nice stuff. That's the nice stuff, my man. Kool-Aid. Now, we bring some sugar. As I said, that's the nice thing. You can add sugar afterward according to taste. So, I'll take one. I'll take two. Now, a little bit more. Here we are. That's enough sugar. I swear to God, I can swear the... I can swear. I can smell the Kool-Aid powder until here. Anyway, we put this here, we bring the water. Now we need some water. Water, water, water. Or wasser. Yeah, the wasser. Now we drink it, pour it, I'll drink it. Ah, the blood. It's the blood. Man, that's really dark colored. We keep pouring, we keep pouring, we keep pouring, yeah. That's nice. Anyway, I think this is about uh, 1.5 liters. Let's see on the side. Yeah, it's exactly just a little bit over 1.5. Now, we return it to its normal place and here comes Mr. Spoonie. Uh, by the way, this is a spoon and uh, chopsticks at the same time. My little niece, Eva, likes to play with this. She even eats cereal with this, imagine it. Anyway, time to stir. We stir. Uh, about stirring. You just keep stirring until you see the powder uh, in the bottom has uh, dissolved. That's it, mainly. It should take a little bit of stirring. 
and it will be ready. Okay, my man. Man, that's nice. So you know you have enough water when the powder just dissolves immediately. Just shake it off, shake it off, yeah, shake it off, shake it off. Uh, that's it. We'll uh, put back the lid on it. Now for the this, always stay clean, put it like this. And now we have us some Kool-Aid. Uh, what we'll do next is add some ice for uh, in it. As you know, since the ice floats, it will take some space. So this way you won't have that problem when you are overfilling with liquid and then you have to put ice. So you end up just putting the liquid in a cup and then drinking it. Anyway, this is not too cold. I put it in the freezer for a while. Then I'll drink it. Anyway, this is how you do Kool-Aid in the Lebanese style. I bet my ass you were thinking we would add the bullet to it, but no. Nope. This is it. This is how we do Kool-Aid in Lebanon. Same as you. You just make Kool-Aid and then we drop it over the hummus. Anyway, I hope you like this video and see you next time. Peace out.